Would you guys get another video here for you? Quite a few people have asked me to make a video on your browser is managed by your organization. They said they've tried everything to remove it and they can't. And you can see here this browser has got your browser is managed by your organization. This can be down to a couple of things, permissions and also malware or adware that's hijacked your browser. We're going to take a look at how we can resolve this in this video. You can see here this browser has been hijacked and uh, basically uh, these features have been managed by your organization. I'm going to show you how we can quickly uh, resolve this uh, issue here. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to open up the registry editor by typing regedit in the search box. Now you can open up the registry editor here. Inside here, we're going to have HKey local machine. And then we're going to go to software open this up and then we're going to go down to where it says policies and then open the policies up and go Microsoft click this and open this and you should see a folder inside here called edge and you can then check for policies inside there to see if there's any sort of policies in place and then you can just turn those features off or remove those keys from the registry it's very simple, but many people have got different types of browsers. So let me show you a much easier way to show you how to find uh, what management is being done on your browser. Go to the browser, open it up, and you can type here Edge or Chrome or whatever it is here, Edge colon forward slash forward slash management. And I've removed the policy now. And you can see here, Microsoft Edge is not managed by a company or organization. You can do the same thing for Chrome by putting Chrome colon forward slash forward slash management and it will tell you uh, what managements are in place and it will list them here and you can click on them and then you can remove those. The good thing about this is much quicker and easier to do and that's just two browsers right there that I've showed you. Another thing you can do if you've got Windows 10 Pro is go to GP edit in the search box and then open up the group policy editor. Go Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, and then All Settings inside here. And then when you click Status here, it will tell you all of the settings that are in place on that computer. You can then uh, see if there's any that are related to uh, the browser and then toggle these on or off by clicking on them and making them not configured, just like so, and putting them back to the way they should be. And basically that would then make them not configured you would need to uh, refresh uh, the policies and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on. And this will remove them uh, by manual methods here by just taking those out if it's ones that are causing the problem for your browser. If there are other ones inside here that have nothing to do with your browser, you can leave those well alone. Um, and that's basically how you can check those. You can also check for the user accounts as well. There's none on here for the user account, but maybe it's on the computer. Next, go to the search box and type CMD and run this as administrator. Put in this command here, and this will remove all of the group policies for the users on that computer. So if you've got policies in place, it will remove all of those, especially if you can't find it and it's still causing you issues. You can reset all of these policies for the PC and for the users by putting these two commands in here. Once you've run those two commands, type in GP update space forward slash false, and this will update their policy and make sure that it's uh, been removed. And you can restart the PC at this stage, and hopefully that policy that you had set in place has now been removed and reset and removed all the other policies as well. Now, going back into the browser here, you can also try to reset the settings by going to uh, reset settings here, and you can see uh, restore settings uh, to the default values. You can go in here as well and reset these. Now, this is another uh, thing you can do. It doesn't remove any sort of uh, favorites or anything like that. So you can try this to see whether this works. If it's adware related, it's not going to work. And also resetting it using the command prompt if it's adware related generally doesn't work either. But I want to show you those just in case you have got some sort of policies in place. And I want to show you a way uh, to fix it if you've got adware in place. So if you've got adware like I've got on this system on that browser, you need to do a uh, far bar recovery scan tool. You can run a scan on this 
and uh, basically set it up how I've got here and run a scan. Because the policies in place on mine were nothing to do with uh, the policies in the group policy or in the registry or any of that stuff. It was to do with adware. And adware is a basically a browser hijacker. And once you've got this in place, you've got two files. You can then go through here and have a good look and find the culprits that are causing the permissions issue here. So let me just go through and I'll quickly show you how I detected them here. Now this one's a bit more advanced. So if you don't want to use this, I'll show you another way you can do it as well. So we're going to go through here and try to find where there's an issue uh, with our browser. So I'm going to come down a little bit further and I'm looking through here and I can see here there's an attention here and it's basically, you can see here policy for Microsoft Edge and it's a restriction here. So we're going to remove this and I'm going to copy this into a notepad and call this fix list and then remove this policy from our machine. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'll show you another way of doing this. So I've got my fix list set up here. I've put this into a new uh, document here. I'm going to save this as fix list. And I'm going to save that in the same location as the program and as those two uh, files that we've done a scan on. So let me go ahead. I've got those in there. You can see them here. There's our two scan files and our fix list file. Now click on fix and this will then go ahead and remove the item that I've put into that fix list document. That's now done. And you can see it's a uh, fix results. It gives me the fix results and it's now removed exactly what I told it to remove that uh, policy that was in place there. Close this off. And if we go to our browser now, we could take a look. Let's open this browser up. Go up here, you can see it's been removed. So we've removed the uh, policy that was in place here. So it's all back to default settings and gone back to normal. And that's basically it. That's basically how you can remove it, whether it'll be a policy put in place by you or by some software or by uh, some adware or malware on the system, some browser hijacker. Now, if you're not familiar with that sort of software, you can use tools like ADW Cleaner and tools like Malwarebytes and other programs like that to try and remove any sort of adware from the system. And it's a lot more easier to use than Firebar Recovery Scan Tool, which is a much more advanced uh, piece of software. This is much more user friendly and you can run these scans on your system and it will remove and it will remove any sort of browser hijackers or pups or any sort of adware from the system. Anyway, I hope this video has been some use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again real soon for another video. Bye for now.